welcome to this examine feature demonstration video. In this video, I will show the use of examine filters to find images containing location information, this being longitude, latitude, or even both. I will also demonstrate how to create a pivot filter of a specific coordinate with the aim to locate multiple items, in our case, containing these coordinates. And finally, I will also show you how to engage the global location filter to set a large search radius. Right here, I have a newly created case. This case contains two smartphone extractions. Clicking on the pictures category will list 757 items for us to see. Looking at these items, we are able to choose any item of interest. So in this instance, I will choose the second image I have in front of me here. By clicking on this image, you'll see a newly populated tab that will appear, which will say details. And this details tab will contain the image itself. It will contain the file name, the size, and it will contain the metadata of this particular image. The content of the metadata, we are able to identify the GPS longitude and the GPS latitude. And if we scroll a little bit towards the end of the file itself, or the data that has been presented to us by examine about the file, you'll see a summary of the latitude, the longitude and altitude. You are also able to see the map represented in a geographical view. And this is of the item that we've highlighted. Now, if we are interested in identifying any item within our case that contains the same longitude and, al and latitude and altitude, what we can do is we can choose the latitude, right click on the value that has been presented to us and we can create a new location filter. This filter is what we call a pivoting filter. To see my location items in a meaningful way, what I will be able to do is go within the artifacts tab and I will click on the geographical view. The geographical view will give me all of the items that's presented to me within that case on a map. And I'm able to then highlight or hover my mouth over to any of these items that I find interest and I can therefore see the item itself. In this instance, I've highlighted one of the items I'm interested in and as soon as you click on that, you will be able to see in the details that this item is coming from a file, media or a video. If you are interested in expanding your search location, what we are able to do is move your mouse over to a slightly more empty space and right click on the map itself and you'll see a new option that will appear, which will say create location filter. By choosing create location filter, a new set radius option will appear. And from that set radius option, we are able to choose what radius we want to be including within our search. So in this instance, I am going to set my radius to three kilometers. And by choosing three kilometers, I will click OK. As soon as this new filter has been applied, you'll see now that my map will be zoomed in to include all of the items within three kilometers that have location information within this 150 within this 156 items and this very quickly is what we can do in order to identify items that contains location information how to pivot from an item of interest and and how to set a radius for a specific range that we are interested in thank you